rounding out our list here, next we have Archippus. What does Paul say to this guy? He says, tell Archippus, see to it that you complete the ministry you have received in the Lord. We don't know a ton about this guy. It just says, complete the ministry you have received in the Lord. We know from extra biblical resources, he might have been a young guy given a ministry uh, where he was either you know, preaching or just serving. He's mentioned in Philemon also. And maybe, and scholars kind of disagree here, maybe it was Paul giving that sort of like reminder that you have to remind a young person like, hey, complete the job that was laid out for you. Like, stop being lazy, get the work done, get it going. And that might have been true. But perhaps it could have also just been Paul encouraging him like, hey, persevere, be strong, complete the job, that, the ministry that Jesus has set out for you. But either way, like us, he was given a ministry. We each have been given a ministry. Broadly speaking, we're all given the ministry and purpose of living for the Lord, sharing the good news of his love and sacrifice to the world, sharing the truth of the gospel, that faith in Jesus brings salvation, and this new way of living. That's, broadly speaking, our mission, our ministry that we've all been given. But more specifically, for each and every one of us individuals here today, we're each given a specific amount of, a number of which we don't know, but a specific amount of people that God knows, a number of human beings that God has placed in your life for long and short periods of time for you to shine for, to do life with, spouses, children, parents, neighbors, co-workers, clerks at the store, taxi cab drivers, authorities, subordinates, bosses, church members, politicians, online communities, even telemarketers, we have those brief moments of interaction where we can live for ourselves, or we can live for God. And every person that God has placed in your and my life is a human being with a story that God has knit together that was fearfully and wonderfully made. And he desperately wants to know. And he wants you and I to be part of the process of introducing them to him and not give them reasons to walk away from this God. It's our ministry. And so it's fitting that we conclude with Archippus where we're told to see to it that you complete the ministry you've received in the Lord. Don't worry about the world and its silliness as much as completing the ministry. Don't stress about what's going to happen in life as much as the lives that you can impact right now. 